In this video, we'll go over the concepts found in Grammar 2M. These concepts include possessive pronouns, languages and ethnicities, irregular verbs, and sentence diagramming. We'll start with some possessive pronouns. Now remember, a pronoun is a word that can replace a noun without changing the meaning of the sentence. Therefore, a possessive pronoun is a word that can replace a possessive noun without changing the meaning of the sentence. Here are your possessive pronouns. You have my, your, her, his, it, our, and their. And so as you can tell with it's, you do not use an apostrophe when it's possessive. When it's a contraction for it is, then you will use an apostrophe. So remember, don't use an apostrophe. Let's look at an example sentence. We have the sentence, the girl borrowed Lena's hair tie. And so now we are going to replace Lena's, the possessive noun, with a possessive pronoun. And it will become the girl borrowed her hair tie. And so you can see that her is replacing Lena's um, without changing the meaning of the sentence. And also her is acting as an ad adjective for um, the tie as well as hair. And it's telling you whose tie it is as well as hair is telling you, um, uh, it's telling you what kind of tie it is. Now we're gonna move on to languages and ethnicities. Here we have a sentence, JD wants to learn Italian. Notice that for the language Italian, you are going to capitalize that first letter. Any language that is in a sentence must be capitalized. And now we have the sentence, Don is Canadian and Cynthia is American. We have two ethnicities here, Canadian and American, and we capitalize both of them. Every ethnicity will be capitalized. There's a reference page at the end of the book to tell you which one is a language and which, was, which is an ethnicity in the, um, in the sentences in the book. Our next concept is irregular verbs. An irregular verb is a verb that does not follow the ed rule and has its own form when being written in past tense. So here we're going to look at a short example. Here we have write becomes wrote, take becomes took. And as you can see, with these irregular verbs, there's no one pattern to how to write the past tense for them. And so once again, we have a reference page at the end of the um, at the end of the book that will give you all the present and past tense for the irregular verbs found in this Grammar 2M book. Now let's look at an example sentence. We have the boy blank a foot over the summer. And what we're going to fill that blank with is the past tense of grow. So that will become grew. So the sentence is the boy grew a foot over the summer. And so notice that um, this once again does not really follow the same pattern as we had seen in the previous one with write and take. So make sure you're checking that reference page in the back. Our last um, concept is going to be sentence diagramming. And this one we're going to look at compound verbs and also we're including possessive pronouns which once again function as an adjective. So let's just kind of go through this example. We have our subject on the line which our subject is baby in this sentence. And then we have our possessive pronoun which is our adjective um, for baby connected to baby diagonally. And then we have our verbs on the other side of the vertical line so that we have laughed and clapped and we have them um, combined or um, put together by the conjunction and. So now let's look at a sentence and do one ourselves. We have her son read and wrote. So first we want to set up that little uh, structure as we see here and now we're going to start filling it out so that we're starting with our subject which is son and then um, we do have a word that is uh, describing son and it is her so we're putting that on the diagonal line connected to the subject and then we're going to put in our verbs which is read and wrote and we're um, joining those two together with a conjunction and. If you have any questions over this booklet, please contact the person who grades your grammar.